so welcome back. Three days in a row. Three days in a row we're playing this game. When was the last time I ever played a game three days in a row? You man have just been given this so much support, honestly. Let's keep playing, let's keep playing. I think we've actually got what is probably gonna end up being like the first boss wave, I guess. We're on the 10th level. I got a note about this one. Oh yeah, that looks like there's quite a few more there. I don't know, is this gonna be a boss wave? Oh, we're doing the bowling again. Wait, are we doing the bowling again or? Okay, no, this is a little bit different. We got potato mine. Can't exactly bowl that. Uh, so let's put a potato mine there. We can bowl. Oh no, okay. So this is just a completely different kind of thing. It's basically just got me on a sort of... Like, I'm just scrolling, basically. I'll put Chomper there. People were telling me that I can put Chomper behind the Johnny, and he can actually eat stuff that's in front of him. So I thought that might be a good play. I'll stick that there. I'll try and get something down in each lane if I can. Put that there. Quick, get the Cherry Bomb. I wonder what happens, actually, if I just kind of leave it there. Does it stack up? I wonder. Let me see. So if I leave it, if I don't touch it, it actually just kind of builds up. I thought it was going to be one of them ones where if I didn't use it in time, it would just disappear. Uh, let's go, I guess. We'll go Chomper here. Potato Mine there. Chomper there. I mean, I got hella Cherry Bombs, so... Can I just have, like, all the waves like this? Oh, I could actually play my combo now, couldn't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ice P behind the Chomper. Johnny in front of the Chomper. See, now this right here, this is the ideal setup. This, we could actually, uh, we could actually do something good with this. And see the pole vaulter on the way. I don't know. It's all going a bit too quick for me. It's good that I've got these three cherry bombs that I can just kind of use whenever. Let's go get some more repeaters out here. Put a cherry bomb there, I guess. Actually use one of them. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should try and hold them. Let me use one here. Get these ones. Okay, it's getting a little bit hectic now. A little bit hectic. No, put that back. Put that back. Dude, look at my field right now. It's mad. There's so much stuff. My god, I'm gonna run out of space to put things down. Filled up like two-thirds of the whole garden now. But no, I'm glad that you lot have been enjoying watching me play this game. I've really been enjoying playing it. Oh, wow. Okay, I got an achievement for that. It's been a lot of fun. It's just like, it's PVZ, but it's almost like a complete breath of fresh air. And I honestly, I, I, I feel kind of bad that I never gave this game a chance back in the day. <laughs> I'm fairly confident that I just jumped on the game one time, played it for a few minutes, and I was like, yeah, nah, this ain't my thing. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's do this. If you want to see this become like a full-on series, if you want me to play through this entire game, then I'd right, mate, let's see if we can get... We haven't done a like go in a while. 8,000 likes, and I'll do an entire series on this game, like start to finish. I'm legitimately about to run out of space. Might as well put potato mines down here, and then they can just kind of activate whenever, I guess. I really don't see them getting through this somehow. And to think as well, if we play through the entirety of this game, we then got the whole second game that we can do. And I know there's supposed to be so much more to the second game than there is to this one. And what's the deal with PVZ3? Because I heard about it like a while back. Didn't they do like a soft release and then it got loads of really bad feedback? So they kind of, I don't think they canceled it. I think I heard somewhere that they were gonna kind of take it down and redo it. That's what I heard anyway. I might just be chatting up my ass. Do that, do that, do that. Cherry bomb. Kapow. I don't know. I reckon this last bucket head might get through this entire garden. I'm just going to put a chomper like right there. Just eat him straight away. Got a mushroom. Don't know what that does. It's a uh, puff shroom. Shoot short range spores at the enemy. Evening shag. The zombies just won't lay up, will they? You'll notice that fighting zombies at night is different than in the day. For one, you won't get any sun falling from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers though. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can and you'll be A-O good. So I'm gonna have to build my own sun up. Dude, imagine I just don't pick sunflower. Oh, puff shrooms are free. Now that is interesting. I see, okay. Well, do you know what? I wanna actually invest in this strategy that I came up with. So sunflower, ice pea chomper. I, I really wanna try this. I'll take the puff shroom since you mentioned it. Cherry bomb is clutch. I'll take Johnny as well, because I can kind of work that in. That can be part of the combo. Oh, there's gravestones now. So wait, can I just... They recharge pretty quick as well. What if I put it there? Okay, so it's not doing anything just yet. I oh, see, it's going to get kind of weird because I'm going to be getting sun so slowly to start with. I'm just going to have to make sure that any little bit of sun I get, I spend on sunflowers and nothing else. How efficient are these things at actually getting kills? That's my question. Okay, so we can stop brown coats. I'm gonna put second one there, second sunflower. Yeah, man, this one's just gonna be kind of slow progress, I think. We'll get through it, we'll get through it. I'll make sure I've got one in 
each lane. What's the deal with these gravestones? How's that gonna kind of factor into it? I feel like some mental's about to just pop out of there. I feel like since this is level 2-1, they're probably gonna go easy on me. But I can see how this is gonna end up being a madness later. See, the whole ice pea chomper strategy that I had in mind was a lot better when I could actually just get sun. Now I can't. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Save up money to purchase cool stuff. What kind of cool stuff? Oh, okay. Hang on. Nope. I didn't like how quick he was going. We had a runner. Never forget the first time you play Nazi zombies and you get your first runner. All the zombies are just sort of like limping around the place, just staggering all over the shop. And then you get that one zombie that just starts sprinting at you. You just turn around. You're like, oh shit. There we go. We got the strategy going in one lane. Can't plant on graves. Oh, that's just great. Um, I'll put it there then. That'll do. I do want to know what the money's used for though. It's like a golden mushroom. That one costs sun though. Sun shroom gives small sun at first and normal sun later. Is that another farming one then? Is that like sunflower? You collected $340 in coins so far. When you collect $750, I'll say something really neato. All right, heard. I'll put this there. Oh, it does produce sun. Okay, it produces 15. Eh, we take those. Since you know me, I'm all about the symmetry. I'll get my line of sunflowers, then I'll do a line of sun shrooms, just so it looks aesthetically pleasing. Listen, how effective it actually is doesn't matter as long as it looks good. It's not about the winning, it's about looking good while doing it. Oh yeah, now we get a line of repeaters in the middle. You see? This is gonna look banging when it's finished. Oh, you see, of course, yeah, because then the mushroom actually grows over time. And then it produces normal sun. So as long as you kind of play the long game, then it is actually worth it. Oh, but you see now, because two of them have grown and the rest of them haven't, now it doesn't look right. So you got to remember, I was that kid in Skyrim who used to deliberately wear bad armor that looked cool instead of wearing the good armor that didn't look cool. I don't care if that dragon burns me to a crisp in two seconds. As long as I look crispy while he does it. I'm ready to just plonk this down right here. I'm ready for you. Final wave. There it is. Nailed it. Ah, uh, there are probably better places I could have put that. Oh, that's a big shroom. Hold on. One's a big motherfucker. Fume shroom shoots fumes that can pass through screen doors. Okay, so screen door zombies are about to become a thing. Yep, there they are. I like the strategy that I had with the sunflowers and the sun shroom, so I'll do that. Puff shrooms. The repeaters are honestly so good. I think I think this is the setup. Do you ever go to take a zip of tea and it's empty? I'm heartbroken. Will he reach from there? He will. Okay, good. You're the only thing that can take him out, I think, anyway. I mean, or can he just attack normally? Okay, so he can attack normally. He's not just specifically for that. Might as well just put him in every lane then. See, now this feels like a dirty setup. Nah, I was way ahead of that. What is that? Grave Buster. Find it on a grave. Oh, okay. So that just gets rid of it. Want to buy an extra seed slot? It'll cost you 750, but you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of... Oh, okay. Um, do I want to do it? That's the question. I feel like... I feel like I'm coping all right with six. I don't feel like I need seven. The question is, here's, here's what I'm wondering. Is there is there anything else that I can spend the money on? That's my question. I don't actually know which is why I'm a little bit hesitant. I don't want to spunk 750 quid on a slot that I don't need when there could potentially be something better that I can spend it on later. Gonna pass on that one, Chief. Like, come on, you're trying to tell me this setup ain't getting it done. First big wave. Let's see. I think my setup's looking pretty good here. I honestly don't see how they're gonna get through that. Unless you're about to send some Sharkatronic submarine. Then I mean through what water? So I, I think we're good. See, this would be the time that I actually kick back, relax, and had a sip of tea, but I got no tea! Should've made a refill before I did this. I wonder, does Cherry Bomb kill him instantly? It does. And as soon as I do, two pole vaults come. That's just great. I'll wait for the mad numbers to come in. Look at this. This is probably the biggest wave that I've seen yet. Blow them all up. Look at that. See, I say that's the biggest wave I've seen yet. This is probably the quickest I've seen my defense shred through it. That took like 10 seconds. Anyway, I think that's probably where we're going to call it for this one. I know we've done this game like three days in a row. Now, don't worry. I'll get back to some inscription or something like that tomorrow. But I'm glad you're all enjoying this. I'm enjoying doing it. Remember, 8,000 likes if you want to see this become a full series. Why do I feel like we're going to get that in like an hour? Regardless, thank you for all the support on this. I'll see you next time.